we can tow it also and then you have a look. Scrutinize, look around. Hi, I'm Grosov and I'm 8 years old. Hi Wenyu, how are you? Good. Okay, so let's start off with an interesting activity. So I have a 10 Singapore dollar note. On this front, I want you to find a marine animal that is drawn on this note. Mm, is it a shell? Yeah, so it is a type of seashell and it's called a cowrie. Have you heard of it before? I know that it's like a species of clam, right? Sometimes found clinging onto like the line between the sea and the shore. Oh, no, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, so it's a type of snail. Uh, and actually, cowries are traditionally known as a form of currency for goods and services. People last time could just walk to the beach and then pick up money. <laughs> Possible. Um, but actually, these cowrie shells are not that easy to find on our shores. Because of this uh, trade of currency, um, what has happened to the animal is that they've also been over-harvested. So to some extent, actually, we are finding fewer and fewer of them on our seashores as well. So? What made you choose to become a marine biologist? Through the work that I did as a student, I fell in love with the ocean. But I think more importantly is also because I wanted to get people to realise how we are very closely linked to each other, even though we may live in very different environments. You know, animals in the sea and us in HDBs. So I see myself playing that role of that voice to, to speak up for them. I've seen like, for example, the Great Barrier Reef, just entire patches of coral just dying off because they just mm. cannot survive the, the heat that mm. humans have created. In order for us to be able to see wild penguins, you know, not penguins that are in, in captivity. captivity. Yes, that's Jinx. right. <laughs> yes. We want to be able to preserve uh, their habitats and their homes. Uh, what do you think you can do to solve this problem of making corals less um, challenged? I think we quite sad as um, the next generation, or even my generation, wouldn't be able to see the things like the previous generations have been able to see. There's definitely no quick solution to global warming or corals dying out, but I think one important factor is to try to raise awareness as there are some world leaders who still claim that global warming does not exist, although it very mm -hmm. clearly does. If you could, there's one law you could implement to save the earth, what would it be? Um, making everybody use reusables? But what about you? There's recently been an invention that's made plastic out of kelp and seaweed human consumable. I would say switch plastic to that mm -hmm. and then do it on a biomass scale. Okay, any regrets going into this line of career? I think it's definitely a long drawn battle. It's about really persisting and you know standing true to your beliefs. At some point, I think they would come to realise your passion because it's that light and passion and motivation that will bring you through to reaching your dream. So I'm interested to find out like what do you aspire to become when you grow up. I don't really have a fixed plan but I do think it'd be interesting to have something related to the environment. No one knows 100% what will happen but as we mentioned earlier, I think raising awareness is very important. Oh, my favourite animal is a colossal squid. Oh wow!